hi, my name is Michal Lipinski, and in this short video, I will show you how to reinforce objects with custom reinforcement. Okay, let's start with something really simple, like a sloping wall. And I will demonstrate you a couple of useful tools that we can use to add reinforcement to such objects, and even more complex than that. So first one I'm going to use is in Eero, and it's called Single Rebar Set. And you will see a theme in all of those where you set up what reinforcement you want to put in, the spacings and offsets, and then you have to define the concrete object and define a guideline or points by which this object will be reinforced. So here I can I have two options. One of those is uh, define a polyline, and the other one is define points. And I will use define points right now just to demonstrate you how it works. And so I'm selecting my concrete object, and now I can select my points, go one by one around this wall, and you'll see it follows a slope. Of that wall. Here we have only one direction of bars but we can easily add a second one and that one is also following the slope as you can see. And you can define the vertical offsets, side offsets, spacings, everything is, is adjustable here. Now another way of reinforcing such objects is to use irregular reinforcing. For that we need some guidelines and it's really easy to do. I can go to solids modeling and use my extract faces or edges command where I can say I want to extract a face of that object. It's highlighted in yellow as you can see and that will give me a geometry that I can now push into my concrete with a specific distance of 65 millimeters, just like that. And then I can either copy it on the other side if this is the re a regular object, or I can do the same thing on the other side if I want to. Here I will just copy it to make it quicker. So now I have two objects. And then I can go in here and select my irregular reinforcing command, specify my, uh, my reinforcement, and Again, select my concrete and then select the guidelines on which I will base my reinforcement. Now let's take a quick look how this works. So as you can see, it now has placed reinforcement based on our settings. Here we can change that. So first of all, let's see the vertex. So vertex, that means in each vertex of that object, it will put a one bar regardless of the spacing. Now, second option is spacing. So here what it does, it looks at the offsets I have defined here. So one of the offsets is zero. Let's make it zero, zero, so you can see. And now it places a first bar in the first vertex of that object. And then using the spacing, it will place all the other bars. So now, right now, for example, you can see here there's no bar in this vertex because that needs to be 150. So right now you can see there's no bar in that vertex because each bar is evenly spaced out at 150 millimeters. The last one we can use here, the last setting we can use here is combination. And that means first it puts all the bars in the vertices. In each vertex we have a bar now and then it uses the spacing to distribute all the other bars between those vertices and here that's the best one for me because for example if I need more bars here but I need them all to be spaced out at 150 along that wall I can select my segment number four where we have three bars and I can override the quantity and say oh, okay but I need four bars here you see, and now it changed the, the actual number of bars. And here maybe I need more too. Let's say I on that segment I need six bars. So that's an easy way to adjust everything here. Now this got us longitudinal bars along that wall. 
I have created some more guidelines and here you can see them that's one of them and irregular reinforcing creates a reinforcement perpendicular to the guidelines you model so we've seen this was my guideline and perpendicular bars were modeled to those two guidelines i will do the same but on the opposite direction in the opposite direction so again first my concrete then my guidelines that's first second and third is here and as you can see right now i have bars that are going along the top wall top side of the wall and then going down against that slope and here you can see okay maybe i have some clashes so now i can go into my first guideline i created for the face of that wall and then I can say, I need additional distance of 16 millimeters inside. And you will see that the bars are adapting to it. So now I need to do it for the second one as well. And basically, right now I have a sound reinforcement in my wall. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward with a straight wall. What happens if we have this kind of wall, which is a little bit more complex? So it is a solid that I have created using microstation commands, and then I extruded that section along a path that's on an arc just to have a more complex object than a straight wall. You can see it has slopes, it has changing geometry, and you also probably see that I already placed some guidelines, and we will use those guidelines to reinforce the object. So let's start with a new tool. This is a third one I will describe. So first we had single rebar set, then we had custom irregular reinforcing, and another one I would like to show you is the rebar single distribution. And here, again, specify your reinforcement specify your spacing and offsets and then you have to specify of course the concrete object and finally you have to specify two guidelines first is the shape of the bar and the second one is the distribution of that bar and you can either use points so that's similar to what we've seen in the very beginning or you can use already created guidelines and this is what I will do right now so the easiest way is to distribute this straight bar along that path which is an arc here and just like that it creates the bar for you and you can see it has end conditions bent on both sides and we can rotate those to match the concrete object and also, as you can see, it's perfectly aligned with the arc itself. And here I can give you a quick tip. It's really important where you place the guideline for the distribution. So it's, the best practice for me is to place it on, on either end of that guideline that represents the shape of the bar. So let's say always put the guideline for the path on the beginning of the shape of the bar and then you will be able to use those commands which are move in the line and that will allow you to align the bar exactly to the arc and it, it will be rotated exactly as you need okay so that was one bar let's do some something more complex like a u-bar here i have prepared and you will see this works the same so again concrete object and then the bar and finally the path and he, let's change the rotation of this and like that we can of course go into the settings and uh, change this uh, leg length to create a closed link if we want to and finally i will use the same command to reinforce the last one which is this the biggest uh, bar here so no matter how complex the bar is you can distribute it along any path first the bar and then the path second let's take a look from the top 
and as you can see it's perfectly aligned to our concrete object that's based on an arc. Now let's use the second command we spoke about today which is the irregular reinforcement to create a longitudinal reinforcement but along an arc this time. So let me show you the guidelines I have here and please remember irregular reinforcement is the reinforcement that we are creating that's perpendicular to the guidelines. So let's do it again for this object. So here you can see I have three guidelines and I will tell you why I need three in a second and I will use again the custom regular reinforcing, select my concrete, select my guidelines, first, second, and third. Okay, and now if you look from the top, you will see, okay, but that's not perfectly aligned to my concrete, and you're right. So to make it sound, I can go in here, select my middle line, which is this line, and as you know, we need three points to define an arc, and this is exactly what we're going to do here. So the middle point will be an arc intermediate point. You have to right click here and you will get an additional menu. And here you have an option to make an arc intermediate point out of the middle line, and that will make your reinforcement perfectly aligned to the object. And we can do that with the sloping wall too. So again, let's pick Irregular reinforcing tool, select the concrete, select the guidelines, first, second, third, and again, it's not arc yet, so please remember, got to go here, select arc intermediate point, and there you go. And let's look at all of the reinforcement. As you can see, we are now getting there where we will have the full reinforcement for even for this type of object. Those can be even based on a B spline. So obviously the guideline for the single bar distribution can be a B spline. And here it only matters for the longitudinal reinforcement on how many guidelines you have to make your bar adjusted to, to the B spline. All right, so that's the end of the video. I hope it will help you to create a custom reinforcement adjusted to your particular objects. Thank you very much.